Welcome back. Well, every other Thursday, we're taking a look at a health issue or concern affecting many people, breaking down the information for you and telling you what you need to know to keep you healthy. Dr. Kalani Brady from the John A. Burns School of Medicine joins us now with this week's topic. Something that everyone can pretty much relate to at one time or another, stress and anxiety. Welcome back, Dr. Brady. Thank you very much. First of all, we talk about stress and anxiety. What's the difference? Stress is what is imposed on you externally, and anxiety is your body's response to the stress. Your body's response to it. Okay. Now, a lot of us have anxiety when there's a big change in your life. Maybe you're going back to school. Right. But it doesn't have to be something negative. Even if it's something positive where you're getting married or having a baby, you can have anxiety. Sure you can. And there are ways that you... Uh, show anxiety and there are things that you can do to control anxiety. Okay, and how can anxiety appear? How do you know that you're having anxiety? First of all, you feel an increase in irritability, in um, apprehension, in fatigue, in heavy muscle tension. Um, blushing, sweating, and trembling can be present with anxiety. And chronic anxiety, uh, Christine, occurs in women about twice as often as in men. And why is that? Uh, because women are weaker. No, <laughs> no, no, no. No, of course when, not. Remember when I said the doctor's never wrong? Right. You're wrong. <laughs> okay, but in, in all seriousness, you can have some real physical signs and symptoms of anxiety. It's not just something that you feel emotionally or mentally. Of course. Okay, so what are some things we can do to maybe avoid it or at least reduce the anxiety we have? First of all, uh, reduction of anxiety can come through stress-relieving exercises, meditation, centering prayer. <coughs> uh, those things can occur for 20 to 30 minutes, uh, and they will reduce your anxiety. Uh, regular exercise, aerobic exercise of 30 minutes or so, uh, several times a week can also tune your body so that you uh, have adequate uh, reserves and your anxiety is less present. Uh, you can um, have adequate sleep patterns uh, which also help. For trouble getting to sleep, uh, a regular bedtime is important. Calming down for 30 to 60 minutes before sleep, avoiding stimulating TV, uh, the uh, shows that show lots of people being uh, shot and killed mm. uh, for several hours before bed, and avoiding caffeine after noon can also help. Excessive alcohol can make you sleepy, and you may actually fall asleep more quickly, mm -hmm. but alcohol will cause you to awaken several times during the night, and you won't get deep sleep. What about a lot of people have maybe one drink? One drink is fine. One drink is fine. Okay, adequate sleep is important. Some people watching and might look at the tips and think, I don't have time to do these things that is supposed to reduce my anxiety. But I think if you just make the time to do one thing, make one change, it can help. Right. Now, I know that maybe as a last resort, you can maybe seek medication? Yeah, medication should be considered a last resort. Use the suggestions that I've talked about during this segment. And also you can see a counselor, a therapist, uh, if you're having continued anxiety. And then sometimes resorting to medication uh, may help. But the problem with medication is that the medications largely that treat anxiety uh, cause some dependence of the body on them. So in the end, you have two problems instead of one. I do have a final question. Uh, it is normal to have stress or some anxiety of at some points in your life. How do you know when you're having it too much? When you uh, can't function normally, when your job um, is not done, when your kids are too rambunctious, uh, those signs are the way you can do it. And of course, women, I was joking. Uh, <laughs> women frequently have more on their plate mm -hmm. than men, uh, which is probably why they have more anx anxiousness. Do you know why that is? Why? Because women can handle more than men. Oh, okay. You agree? <laughs>
I agree. Thank you, Dr. Ray. No, in all seriousness, have a good weekend, and thank you for being here. Again. Thank you.